of fun side questy yeah stuff. things and actually are we even broadcasting that is a fair question because okay good all right we were just worried for a second there but all right, yeah. so yeah, we're kind of running out of side quests. We could there's a few things you we could, could run around. You could always start Preston's crap. Don't wish that evil on me. I'm just throwing it out there as an option. I'm. Why do you think I'm 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 putting this out on you? Come on now, <laughs> that's this you tripping dog. Yeah. So uh, with that in mind, we've gotten. Uh, we need to get the Courser chip analyzed. And I think... That's what she said. Yep, and there's only one... We have an, we're going to have to visit an old friend back in Good Neighbor for that. Who we haven't talked to in quite a while. Will that be Miss Amari? I think so, yes. Uh, and I'm sorry if I sound awful today. I'm kind of feeling vaguely like a plague rat. He sounds like a plague rat. <laughs> Coughing and hacking and all kinds who, of things. I don't know who he's hacking, but, you know, it's kind of intense. You know, random hobo. As opposed to a, speci a specific one. Specific. Random. Eh. Six of one, half dozen of the other, I suppose. Maybe I'll stop and buy some beer or something. Um, oh, yes. I think you need to make the... Oh, yeah. I should have checked oh, on the still. The oh, well. Wait, didn't you look up about the still? I did, but I wanted to test because you never know what you're going to find out uh, that is wrong. Or so. Oh, so right. And I did promise that I would. But yes, I've been all hacky and coffee and... Vaguely gross. Yeah, for a couple of days. It's getting better, but for a but little it's gotta while... But it's got to get worse before it gets better. Yeah, for a while there was like legitimately just kill me now. Oh, the that's not true. What true. happened? Well, you know, he threatened to murder me if I ever came back. Guy. Then I pulled this encoded chip out of a courser's neck. And he was not happy. A courser. He was also dead. You fought a courser. Oh my God! Unfortunately, I can't help you. I've worked on a lot. Of Grandfather things, says, but never a course. "Advanced mole rat science will cure us with Curie." Let alone how to decode it. Mm. But there are people who might. I Curie, Curie, that, Curie. Well, they're the only ones I know that even have a chance of cracking Institute security. They are called the Railroad. Ooh. Next up, the sounds Railroad. Sounds sexy. Choo -choo. <laughs> <laughs> you know that just that sounds wrong. Good phrase in order to find them. That's follow the freedom. If that's trail. wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> Good luck. In my secret club, the code phrase is just two words. Awesome and me. Yes. That is the most sterling true. archer thing he has said this entire time. Sure that's not with true. Your creativity will be able to figure it out. That's beautiful. I am I am certain that is not the most sterling archer thing he's ever said. It's one of the, but it's not the yeah. I think I think quite possibly the best one ever was the one where I actually ended up almost crying. Which one was that? Um shoot. That was, that was like two streams ago. Well, that and kill. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Fucking kill. <laughs> Which the picture somebody sent was beautiful. That was that was comedic gold right there. Yeah, yes. so we're finally going to find the Mysterious Railroad, which we could have done, like, ages ago, but... Ages and eons. You know how we feel about the main quest here. Beer bot! Buddy. Give me beer, buddy. Do I just... Come on, buddy. I think you might have to go... You beer might have to go to the... Or did oh, no, he's just taking a little while. Beverage. I'll take the beer. I'll take a beer. Cold and refreshing. Ooh, now that's a nice. Uh, uh, he has forty of them. <laughs> How much does he want for them? Um, let's Five see. Five a piece. Yep. 
I can't carry 40, but I can definitely get a 12-pack. Get a 12-er. And trade him for some trade him some obsolete ammo or something. All right, give him some... Well, no, you don't want to give him the addict. How about some flame or fuel? Who knows what... Uh, what I might, what Kate might buddy, pick up. Buddy is the best. Yeah, but you don't need to give him all of your flame or fuel. You have 371 of them. Okay, how much do I owe him? Um, oh, wait. I don't think he wants to trade. He just gives me beer. I think that might be a perk of since you got him. Oh, it's... You might want to think about dropping some of that. Wait, I'm carrying too much? I can't run? Oh. Craft I hit take all. <laughs> Kate, come over here. I need you to hold my beer. Thanks again for pulling that you, job. You know. Those are a little beyond me, I. Well. Good to see you again. I don't even. Hey, Kate. Oh yes. Um, come on. Okay, fine. We're going outside where nobody's gonna get in my way, and then I'll hand her stuff. <laughs> you know. What what can I even say to this? Not a damn thing. That's that's what. Sometimes the interface kind of gives us crap. Okay, actually, Kate. the interface always gives us crap. Hey, point out what you need, and I'll get right on it. Time to trade a few things. Like seriously, Kate, I need you to carry my beer, and at some point, I'll probably take one of these rifles and try it out. Staggering powerful submachine gun. She's just like grabbing every nice thing she finds. Do you know can what, you, Kate? Can you blame her? So I think the heaviest thing I get, I picked up was the uh, ice cold Gwinnett pails. Recovering addicts and booze, fine combination. That's grunt butter. I got to agree with you on that one. And I uh, wish she I didn't. can't carry anymore. Oh, come on, Kate. Um, give me your bat. That's it, Kate. You no longer get to carry a bat. And... But that was my bat. Oh, let's see. Give me the automatic laser pistol, because that's kind of junk. And then take some more of my beer. Got to pay attention to what's important. Yep, exactly. Priorities. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop the bat because I don't care about it. I swear I have like songs in my head. <laughs> Which kind songs? Kind of driving me nuts. Which songs? That's just it. This is like random Christmas crap. Oh, uh, well, it is the season. Yeah, I know, and usually I wouldn't have a huge issue with it, but huh? damn it, come on. No handouts. I don't have no, no handouts. handouts. Every and weapon you see here could be the difference between Do you think this guy are sick? Craving. Probably. Probably are sick. To browse. A gun for our every sick every guy. Episode. Okay, so and I just I'm just going to sell off that uh, one pistol and be like just take the weight savings. I don't even care what I get for it. And it's kind of nice that weapons... Uh... Well, actually, as far as the whole recovering addicts and booze, she was never a drunk. You know what that reminds me of, though? What? Um, Henry J. Littlefinger. I'm not touching that. <laughs> not touching that at all. Okay, please go ahead. Yes, there was a uh, <laughs> story that was featured in an Alfred Hitchcock uh, anthology. Which is never a good idea. Yeah, about, I think it was Henry J. Littlefinger and the, pot, and the plot to uh, throw pot into postage stamp glue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where it was just the story about, you know, the hippies getting the entire United States high by uh, spiking the postage stamp glue since everybody licked stamps. And the uh, reason that Henry could be trusted with this was because they were doing this by ha having him toss a tray full of brownies into the glue mix. And uh, he was a diabetic. But the plot fell apart when he was uh, 
after days and days of taking these delicious looking brownies in to throw them into glue, he finally was you know tempted to eat one and was like, nope, not throwing those away anymore. <laughs> and really, who can blame him? Maybe his doctor? <laughs> That's really all I got. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sure his doctor was like, no. Because that's that's what doctors do, you know. Doctors are always like that. You can't do this. You can't do you that. Can't that's going to that. kill you. you. Can't have sex under an elephant. I mean, come on, you know. Bizarre, but okay. Bizarrely specific, I should say. So, all right. To find okay. where we're going, we need to go and follow the Freedom Trail, which starts here. At journey's end, follow Freedom's Welcome, Lantern. Patriot. To Boston Welcome, Common, Patriot. the start of the Freedom Trail. <laughs> I love the different vocal. Yeah. The Tell me about trail. the Freedom Trail. Starting here at Boston Common, follow the red path as it winds its way through our great city's streets. Markers on the trail. A brownie a day keeps the doctor away, says Grunt Father. Famous historic sites. See. Paul Revere's house, the old North Church, the old State House Bunker Hill, and many Old State more. House Bunker Hill. You know, it makes you wonder, and here's what he's talking about, this red trail right here. It makes me wonder, is there actually like a freedom trail in uh, Boston like this? How, how accurate is this thing? Just with a robotic tour guide instead of um, a... Uh, Give me a second. So, I mean, I know where the end is, so I could just go there, but that's no fun. Now we can have adventures and killings and so on and so forth. <laughs> but, uh... Oh. Actually... Did somebody bother to, uh... Actually, it is an actual. Uh, so there actually is a red there lined is route. There is a red lined route with various odds and ends that you can sit there and see to see the Freedom Trail of the. Uh... Well, what do you know? We learned something today. Yep. But yes, yeah, so the Freedom Trail is a real thing. You can do it as a tour, it's a walking tour of Boston. That's funny. My sister lived in Boston, and I and when I did visit her, I never went. I never. And then again, my family's kind of lame like that. They don't. They don't visit. They don't do things like and do stuff. Things. That's. We don't do things. <laughs> yeah. So we've actually been to a lot of these areas before. So we're kind of playing a little bit of catch up. And there's well, probably going to be, up. yeah, there's probably going to be some enemies who went ahead and respawned, which is very rude of them. How ignorant. Like this super mutant, who doesn't seem to realize how poorly that's going to go for him. That's just a bad idea, buddy. And he doesn't even know. He doesn't even know. I feel bad for him. I mean, yeah, we might as well just kind of kill our way through here because, hey, experience and entertainment. Wait, wait, which one is this? Both. I'm just hoping I don't hear a beeping. Nice try. Well, even if you do, it's not that big a deal. Oh, Kite sees him. You are not leaving here alive. Yeah, I can pretty much probably take a nuke to the face at this point, so... No, you're not... Okay, you couldn't quite do that, but... You're still not worried. <laughs> oh! You? My god, he had a family, and I killed it. That's... That's just really kind of sad. I, I'm, I'm a monster. I deserve to be in here. Wait, is that what I'm doing to people? <laughs> god, I am a monster. Of course, we're somewhere in Boston, we're going to go with the Long Island-themed uh, stuff from Family Guy. Because that's how well, we do why, things. Why, why wouldn't we? Huh? True. I think Kate just fell down the hole. Kate fell down the hole. 
do. Okay, so now where was that little red trail we were following? Um, you're right there. Oh, so it is. So you kind of have to do a little bit of educated guesswork and go, oh, it must be going under here. You know, past the site where we had to kill those gunners to try to keep the vault tech salesman alive once he was no longer an essential character. Which really is just kind of, you know, dickishness. I think I managed to lose this uh, trail at one point when I first started playing this. I don't know why there was a dog, but uh, okay. So make sure I don't lose my mind here. Okay, it's still coming. <laughs> <coughs> Go ahead. I, I can see it welling up inside of you. That <laughs> doesn't make it better. <laughs> Old corner bookstore. Okay, and there is the rest of the trail. That did not make it better. I think it's quite possible that that actually made it worse, and that made it more difficult for me to not say it. Okay, why don't you go long distance, because I have a feeling we might need it in here. Phrasing, yes. Are we not doing phrasing anymore? Are we anymore? not doing phrasing? Because we totally should be doing phrasing. Because <sighs> I thought for a second there I was going to die. Just okay, laughing. Okay, a super mutant butcher. And a super mutant over there. Oh, nice. My enemies are fighting each other. That's what I like to see. You guys take out the trash, I'll just do the cleanup. Because the one I'm worried about is over here. You know, here. If, you had, if you had Cosworth with you, or Woodhouse with you, you could sit there and be like, I'm going to take out the trash. <laughs> Might as well take out the dog. <coughs> <coughs> Now the question, there's one question that needs to be answered. Yeah, human, human, human. <laughs> I don't want your treat. Sorry. Okay, I don't know what that guy's carrying, but it looks a bit ominous. Uh, I believe it's a mini. It looked like a mini gun. By the way, he was slightly hunched. I figured it was either a mini gun or a uh, harpoon gun. Ooh, I hope it's a harpoon gun. Those are kind of fun. You know. Because, yes, harpoon guns are a thing. Well, of course they're a thing. Okay, I think I killed him. So, the other question is his butcher buddy up here. Butcher? Yeah, I want one of those. I want a butcher buddy. Who's got, uh... Oh, no, you don't. Something that is ghosting us. Okay. Okay, and that's rather more to the point. Uh, was that a guy with a nuke? It was. Oh. That is not a harpoon gun. That is a laser rifle. Or something. Well, no, he's that's a laser rifle. It's just... And he knows I'm here. And he doesn't seem to understand that... Take a leg. Go after his leg. That's what's sticking out. You know how to show a girl yeah. Well, oh, whatever. You're welcome, Kate. Glad to show you a good time. I think we have we have very different ideas about what a fun time is. Yeah, there's a kitty and who now there's a kitty crying. For some reason. So let's see. The Foyle Hall. Or however on earth you pronounce that. Let me know if you find some spare ammo. Have to have to Level Geometry is still the best armor available. <laughs> That's true. Mm. Basics. Yeah, there's still somebody wandering around here being all like, I'm gonna kill you! I am angry. Come out, human! You would not like me when I'm angry. And all of such nonsense. Yeah, so let's go ahead and check out these guys who I killed over here to see if they have anything of uh, interest. 
before continuing to follow the Freedom Trail. Oh, this guy had missiles. Yay! And two missile launchers. Because, you know... Well, you have to have a spare. Charging laser sniper rifle. Two. That's just... That's just good, you know... Good habit right there. And there's somebody down there, but that's... Probably not my problem. Okay. At least not right now. Yep. Because we're following the Freedom Trail. We're as going it winds down around the here. Freedom Trail. And is, that's a floor buffer. That sounded vaguely sexual. A floor buffer? I don't know. I guess that could be some kind of weird euphemism. In, in the pseudo 50s? Yeah. Probably was. I mean, all I can say is that our ancestors were weird. I think most people's or ancestors... parents, grandparents, whatever. Most most people's ancestors are weird. <laughs> Somebody just shot at me, and I'm not sure who it was, or where they are. <laughs> but they apparently think this is bullshit, which, fair enough. I mean, really, what am I going to say to argue that? Uh, I think I know what happened well, that one time I got lost. I sat there and thought it continued over here when it actually continues over this way. Mm -hmm. uh, Everybody's weird. See? I was right. Because... Actually, you don't know that you're weird until you see other people to realize that you're weird. That old thing about how people define normal by uh, the people around them? Well... Like, everybody's family is weird. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no normal family anywhere. But you don't know what's abnormal until you see a family that's got more, it more together than yours. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is leading back around this way. Did you already take care of Swan? Yes. Okay, so good. You don't have to worry about it. Wait, does he respawn? No, thankfully he does not. Thank God. Okay. So, this way we go. Um, uh, uh, something saw me. Um, I don't know what. Oh, Super Mutant. And wound. Yes, yeah, so, so you, you, you never know that anything is off about, you know, your reality until either somebody tells you it, or, you know, you see something and you come to that realization. Because everybody's pretty much fucked up and crazy and or weird. In their own you know, special way. I feel bad for this poor freaking. Uh, you should check those hounds. Sometimes they have caps on them. True. It's really weird, but you know. This poor super mutant who I just came you, in you and just murdered killed, him and his dogs. Yeah, you just killed. Oh my god! You just killed Big Dan and Little Ann! <laughs> you monster! You know, I'm surprised they didn't sneak that in as a reference. Who says that they didn't? Yeah, true. Although, wasn't that supposed to be in the hill country of Appalachia? Something like that. I was always Or Missouri, vaguely... like the Missouri area. Yeah. Is what I'm thinking. Well, here's the end of the Freedom Trail. Mm -hmm. One R. Hmm. The trail ends right at the church. Well, okay. So, in we go. Can I just give one away? Watch out for the ghouls. Yeah. Watch out for the ghoulies. I don't know. I was always a bit vague about where where the red fern grows was. Well, it's kind of like uh, the bridge to Terabithia. Yeah. I don't think I ever actually completely read that. I think I started it, but then I didn't finish it for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, had no idea where the hell that was supposed to take place. All I know is that when I was like eight or nine years old, I read Where the Red Fern Grows. I was terrified because I had a forest out behind my house, and I thought a mountain lion was going to eat me. <sighs> Good times. See, Children's for books. Me, for me, I was not worried about mountain lions, but I sat there in... I, I, when I finished the book, I had absolute, like, just tears pouring down my face because... The, and, and that's when I learned... You never read a Newberry, <laughs> yeah. a Newberry Prize winner, 
what winning book because every time you do they're gonna and it has a dog on the cover that dog is not gonna make it to the end they are going to fucking kill it yeah and i don't know why they do this outside of just this church is falling apart it seems I, I i just don't know why they do it but it's like you have to experience the loss of your dog and maybe that's the reason why oh man Seeing as we're coming up on the Christmas season, I have a story time with Nancy moment. Oh boy. <laughs> I think I know this one. I, th I think you do too. So, I don't know if I ever talked about our my childhood dog, okay? This Which really, this could be a, its own Newberry Award. This, yeah, it's, it's, a damn, it's damn near a Newberry Award winning, uh... Wait. Gruntfutter says it's a metaphor for death. Therefore, it's deep literature and middle schoolers should read it. Yes, because every middle schooler should be, like, terrorized about losing their dog <laughs> to a <Yeah>. mountain lion. <laughs> yep, yep. yep. So sounds totally legit to me. I'm not sure. What is the dog supposed to represent? <laughs> if it's a metaphor... Your childhood innocence. Is that it? Well, okay, I suppose that And a mountain could lion represents adolescent sexuality. So it's the latent sexuality that you're that everybody tells you you're not supposed to feel or experience and it's ripping you apart inside and that means you're the dog? I guess so. Oh. Okay, that anyway, just got that got really weird. Let's talk about your dog so, who does not symbolize anything because it was an actual dog. It was an actual dog. Well, my older brother, he's 6 years older than me. And when he was about uh, dead body. Dead when body. he was about 4, I think. He, uh, uh, my, my parents brought him to some, to a farm. <laughs> no, they didn't leave him there. <laughs> it wasn't in upstate New York, okay? It wasn't anything weird like that. Well, they might have if they'd known. If, if they had, if that had been an option, maybe. But, uh, yeah, so they, they were going to this farm, and I don't remember what they were going to go look at. This was before I was born, mind you, so, I mean, I don't really know what they were looking for, but I think it was some kind of, you know, farm equipment, or they were looking to buy some livestock or something like that. So they went to this farm, and they're, you know, they, the, the, the bitch on the farm had just had puppies. And they were just... We're talking about a dog, right? Yes. Oh, okay. That's why I referred to the bitch on the farm, okay? Was it wasn't same? the lady of the house. I'm, what? Sure she... I'm not gonna... I don't even know the woman, okay? <laughs> so I'm not gonna call her a bitch, for God's sakes. That's just... That's just... You know, that's just wrong. So, anyway. Ah, you found the end, by the way. Ah, congratulations. You have come to a tombstone with a bell? Yep. And How there's... nice. And there's a button, and we have to enter a passphrase to activate this thing. Which really, the fact this is supposed to be a secret entrance, but You've you got have electricity. You have an, an electrical connector hooked up to a Freedom Trail ring, and but the only it, thing next to it is this, what looks like a small tombstone. Yeah, you guys are really good at this. So anyways, so yes, the dog <laughs> bitch screaming. on the farm had had puppies somewhat recently, and they had just been weaned. And they were like, well, you know, you, we don't, we don't have need for like six or seven puppies, so, you know, and it's, it's not, these aren't purebred, they were a uh, Spitz Rat Terrier uh, mix, they were mutt. Which starts with R? B-Man says, I'm only here to say that I'm not going to be here for the stream. I'm sorry that you're... I'm on vacation in Asia. Awesome. You enjoy your vacation in Asia. My god, I wish I was... Actually, it's not that bad. Here. But I look forward to vacation. Yeah. And it's 7 in the morning. Fair enough. Uh, Grunt and Fudders. It's, I guess it's a pretty hard puzzle if you're a feral ghoul. True. That's a fair enough, that's a fair enough assessment. Well, B-Man, enjoy... Your uh, vacation. I don't know what you're doing up at seven o'clock in the morning. Hey, jet lag. Jet lag. Go have a drink. I'm sure you can get a drink somewhere. Yep, that's true. You're on vacation. <laughs> so, but yeah. So anyway, so my brother got to pick the dog because my brother happened to be the kid with my parents at the time on this trip. 
And my brother. Ouch. True. Anyway, so my brother picked out uh, the, the Spitz Rat Terrier mix that's that, and then called it, named it Sparky. Okay. Okay. And the password was Railroad, by the way. Not right. that it mattered which R you used. Nope. So. So anyway, we. Uh, True. So anyway, Sparky. Yeah. So Sparky. Uh, so Sparky came to live with us around probably the early, very early, eighties. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just to put it in a ballpark of time. And, uh, so. Ouch. <laughs> wow. Hold on a second. Anyway, Spitz anyway, Rats Terrier Mix. So it's a Spitz back Rat Terrier Mix. And they, uh... So they, uh... <laughs> so they went ahead and, you know, they ended up training the, the dog, training Sparky, Stop so that right he would there. protect, you like, the house. And rest. my grandparents' house was across but the street from us, so the, he would go, or she would go across the street and back. And, you One know, patrol the house, take care of any kind of rodent population and the like. And hunters, we're the Simps' only friends. Yeah, he was your patrol we're dog. Yeah, and he would also uh, help round up cattle. You know, and or she, I followed she would. the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact us? I don't want to get anyone into trouble. We'll find out. One way or another. Last question. Why are you here? I tracked down and killed a courser at Green Tech Genetics. Now I need help breaking the code on his courser this. chip. You, you have to finish what? before I continue. This is not a joking matter. I didn't know we were having a party. What gives with my Yo, invitation? Zeke's twin. Oh, I see you invited the courser killer. Nice. Deacon, you're late. You're saying this intruder actually killed a courser single handedly? <laughs> oh, yes. Give even Gloria a run for her money. News flash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal. <laughs> if you're done interrogating him, you might want to show this courser murder. Desimona does have lovely hair for a violent, sewer dwelling violent know. militia lady. Anyone who kills a courser is. Good actually, money. if you think about it, I'm Desdemona. Most of the, the people person. actually have some pretty awesome locks. <sighs> Oh, like yeah. Deacon, the riddles and the decoder ring Zeke, trick really yeah. like, it hard to find they you. really Anyone put a lot of effort into their hair care. Yeah. Like, they follow the freedom trail. I mean, she, but she's got some curl, curl and some wave yeah, going but, on there. That's style. Is an no, it's yeah. not, actually. I think that's how her hair naturally is. Ah. As somebody who has that hair that, that will curl in some places, be wavy in others, and stick straight in another area yet again. Uh-huh. We're letting you into our Totally, that's totally a legit thing. I, some days I wake up with that hair. <laughs> we'll discuss the details about nice. your chip inside. <laughs> anyway. And actually, Desdemona or Deacon will sit there, and depending on what you've done and various things you've done... He'll list off all the shit you've done. Like, if you're actually head of the, uh, mil the Minutemen... Yeah. He'll sit it, there, like, he's, a, he's the general of the Minutemen. Half the Commonwealth is flying his flag. Mm -hmm. and he, he, so there's all kinds of different little dialogues you can get here. I think there's like eight or nine that you can get depending. You can find pompadours in every other ruined locker these days. But she's got some badunk a dunk in that trunk. <laughs> yep. I'm equal opportunity on, on that. On, on just being like, I can appreciate. Yeah. Anyway. So Sparky, uh, Sp Sparky lived a good long life. He he lived longer than our farm. Uh huh. 
Uh, they ended up getting rid of at least the animal side of the farm, where you know, so we got rid of all of our cows. Sparky was still going. And Sparky was still going. And then I think it was. We figured out her age was about 23 or 24. Mm -hmm. And so by this point in time, Sparky was damn near blind. Uh -huh. Like, she could only tell light and dark. That was all she could do. And she had multiple seeing eye cats because she loved cats. Uh -huh. And, like, if if there were kittens that were, like, abandoned by their mother or their mother was killed or anything like that, Sparky would take care of the kittens. It's yours. Like they were hers. And, uh, you know, so she said that, that was kind of her thing. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. Tigger dog is hilarious. Yeah, he's kind of he's kind of weird. So she had seeing eye cats. Yeah, so she had seeing seeing eye cats, oh, and so Christmas Christmas morning. What? Oh man, don't don't. You know, I'm home from college, and it's Christmas morning, and we walk outside, and it, we had just had a heavy snow uh, overnight. And oh, we walk out into the garage, yeah, and behind my dad's truck Come on, baby. is Sparky. Sparky is hard, <laughs> cold, <laughs> and stiff. And so we were we were all very upset about Sparky's demise. But what, what made it even worse, in some ways, was the fact that you saw you. We went, when we went out at first light, we sat there and we went outside and we looked at the looked at the snow, and he, she had walked a trail in the snow to check both houses before she curled up behind my dad's truck and died. So I mean that's just yeah heart wrenching, right? She made one last patrol. Yeah, she made made her last patrol and then you know curled up and and and, and passed. But I got my eyes open. And, <laughs> but that's... Crack is a hell of a drug. But, that is, but, but that's when things got difficult. Because, you know, we're in the middle of a hard freeze at the time. Because it is... It, we had about a good two feet of snow. We, we had a good two feet of snow on the, on the ground. And, uh... Hey. If we're going to be... I'll be, I'll be damned if... We, we were like, well, we can't, we can't bury Sparky, and we can't keep her in like a shed or anything like that because other animals are going to get at her. Uh -huh. So we decided that the best thing to do would be to give her a Viking's funeral. Now, go on. If you've done any research on Viking's funerals, usually you build a pyre. Well, which you know, good thing we have somebody who could probably give us all kinds of details on this. Who reads the thread? For your fellow man. True. Even. But yes, so usually you have to build a pyre and whatnot, you know, and well once I pledged my life to protect We my did country. not have time, effort, energy, or will <laughs> to Some build a pyre. So we brought Normally Sparky's remains out right to now, the we don't have the time to train up a new out, out out to there are, however, our old burn pile. Contribute. And in turn we can help you. See Deacon for details. Mm -hmm. Okay. Free to go. So we, so we go out to the the burn pile, and we put some stuff around Sparky, and we start it on fire, and we let it and we let it go, and it it petered out, <laughs> as yeah. my dad said. That's how my dad said it. He's like, fire petered out. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh shit, but it had done just enough. To kind of warm up the flesh. We'll file out separately after you. Yeah. And it's it basically it thawed the dog. It 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 thawed the meat. Well, <laughs> I suppose. When you tangle with the institute, is one way you can look at it. And we done. had some we had some feral cats in the neighborhood at the time, What's and done they is done. Uh, that's putting it mildly. A they attitude. started poking but at the corpse. <laughs> I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. And my sister Still, bolted outside with a frying pan, swinging at them. With tears streaming down her face. Now you have to understand, it's cold outside. It's Christmas morning. <laughs> Never mind. Go for it. Or so <laughs> it's either that or it's Christmas Eve. It's it's tourist. either Christmas Eve or Christmas That's morning. Someone who helps out with and, the odd job here. You know, it, what? And she's she's 
I'm just gonna in a t-shirt, jeans, and a and a uh, pair of boots, <laughs> holding a frying pan, swinging, I got a job. Too big swinging for me, at uh, perfect for the two of us. You help me at, out at these cats. Heads, and then Doesn't come anywhere near any of them. <laughs> then if you get okay. into a bind and need some help, your buddies and uh, got your back. Like, no, you're not going to eat Sparky. <laughs> Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old uh, outside of Lexington. I'll fill you it, in once you get there. Just as we say yeah, it was, uh, that was... No pressure. And then, I don't, I don't really remember what happened after that, because by that point I was just in tears cackling. Because <laughs> <laughs> my, little, my little sister has this... My, my little sister... My little sister is the one who sat there and saw a pair of a, a male feral cat trying to have sex with another with a female feral cat, or no, with her her cat, her 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 feline little friend, and he and and she threw a brick <laughs> at them, shouting at the cat at the male cat to get away from Don Gatto. Yeah, don't hurt me. Don't hurt my kitty. <laughs> uh, my younger sister is the cat cock block. Cat cock block, uh, and was always very, very uh, intent on wanting uh, the the cats. <laughs> Reincarnations of feral cats as good fodder for Sparky. Well, uh, actually, the the feral cat was actual was that 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 whole you know throwing the brick. That happened years before. Sparky yeah. was still alive for that, so... I mean, yeah. it's entirely possible that he did reincarnate as a feral cat. Yeah. I think he would have wanted it that way. C circle actually, of life and all that. Actually, no. I think I think Sparky... It, okay, I, I can agree with the whole reincarnation as a cat, but not a feral cat. Sparky would never be, a, uh, would, would never be capable of being a feral cat, because... Uh, he loved people. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Sparky loved people, and like even though he wasn't technically my pet, he was, you know, the family pet, and uh, yeah, it, it was. Uh, Taking noise from your pit boy can't be good. And that just that just made me appreciate. Uh, it, and actually, that when that all happened with Sparky and the and and, and the fire. I sat there and I, I, because uh, <laughs> it was over holiday break, we, and I stumbled across where the red fern grows. <laughs> so I think I threw it across the room. I was like, protect. Screw this book. Screw this fucking book and every book that always kills the dog. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So we're back with Virgil now. We've got the course of trips. See you again. Or the course of chip decoded. What you need. Yes. That was. Uh, I have the code. Yes, that was my my family's where the red fern grows moment. That uh, Sparky checked around our house before before she passed, and it was where the spark ferns grow. The railroad helped me. Yeah, fern grows. Yeah. I love Virgil's reaction here. Too busy trying to liberate vending machines or setting computer terminals free, or sorry, they just have something of a reputation. You're not the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could. From memory and things I've overheard through the years. Came up with some schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Here's you know, it's amazing that, uh, I mean, heck, you in 200 years of English, going from ye olden times, yeah. I mean, hell, even just, you know, about the 1700s, it's about 300 years, you know, to today, part of the design? there's that been grammatical and That's the mm -hmm. terminology the changes, but uh, 200 years here, yep, they, they, still, they still say shit! I want to be clear that as a this as a my area of term of uh, I was bioscience, uh, engineering or cross language systems or anything. They do. He's got some style going. Your confidence is staggering. I'm just saying, I can't guarantee it'll work, but if you can build this device and make use of that code. Actually, I don't think that his his glasses are little old guy glasses. I think those are regular size glasses, but that he still needs them as a super mutant. You 
<laughs> just, I feel, I feel bad for him. And not only that, well, he continues to wear them even though there's no glass in them. I got it covered. Good, good. Like if you look at him, one's got like one shard of glass, and the other one has nothing. Or it does look like it. If you make it in there, you find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being normal. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, there's no glass in those. Because no, you can sit there. Look at the the bottom edge of the of the right. I think this is where the light is shining. Mm-mm. It's jagged. Disgusting. Smells like the bathroom after Salbury steak night. Kate, you're amazing. Never change.